join hands. Uh, let's just speed it up, huh? In the cloak of this dark hour, I call upon the ancient power. Let loose your spirits wild and free. Jack-o'-lantern, come to me. Well, that was a waste of time. enough for what we do they don't pay us that's what i've been thinking hey son interplanetary wars are started that way uh, misunderstanding, Ambassador Penny. Uh, set the ambassador up with a new costume, please. Whoa, hold up. Halloween's next week, right? Nineteen months in Tauren calendar's really thrown you off, Slick. MIB sure gets into the spirit of things. Aliens like Halloween. Trick or treat! Yeah, invitation to Bedlam, if you ask me. Nobody's who they seem can't tell the Martians from the Venusians. But it's good for morale. Anyone seen Zed? You're funny, Al. Heads up, horror fans. The Jack-O-Lantern scare -a starts in five minutes. Remember, for the weak of stomach and faint of heart, we provide barf bags and a licensed nurse. I'm doing surgery. Fat costume, Troy. Two-headed transplant. Dracula Lord of the Undead, duh. So, what do you say, Duke? Down for a fright flick? The alien criminal element likes Halloween, too, son. Every agent is on the front lines tonight. You and Kay hit the streets. Groucho speaks. Not you, you. Agent you. Reporting for duty, sir. <clears throat> what about me? Uh, Groucho has a special assignment for you, son. Trick or treating? We personally requested you to be our escort. Let me get them for you, then. No, 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 no. You, you. Not agent you. You're like a father to us. Who are you supposed to be, anyway? Call me Joe. Cuff it, Joe. I'm a percolator. Agent K, maybe he's finest. Agent J, I'm with him. That's so. How am I supposed to tell you two apart? I just want you to know, sir, that it is an honor and a privilege to be your partner. I guess you could say you've been a role model for me, a real... I get the picture. Anything you want, sir, consider it done. You say jump, I say how high. You say... Wait in the car. And I'll wait in the car. Yes, sir, you can count on me. We're a team through thick and... Now. I'm there. Okay, am I glad to see you? You're never glad to see me, Frank. What's got your tail in a tangle? I got bit... by a werewolf. What'd he look like? 
Terrier, Jack Russell. Mean. What makes you think this Terrier was a lycanthrope? Hello, it bit me. On Halloween night, under a full moon. You're a bright guy, do the math. <sighs> Don't know why you called me, Frank. Supernatural's outside MIB jurisdiction. Who you gonna call? Recommend a rabies shot. Don't know where that terrier's been. If I sprout here at midnight and start howling at the moon, it's gonna be on your end, Kate! <laughs> Guys, wait up! Those adorable alien costumes. Alien costumes? What does she mean, alien? Hmm. Talk about unclear on the concept. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Candy. Me too. Me too. I got sardines. That's no treat. We've been chipped. We, we are coffee. A little 411, fellas. Candy is the Halloween tradition. Time for a trip. Where'd you score all that TP? Bob, a little help here. No joke. Now, unless you guys get with the program, we're headed back to HQ. I'm an intergalactic law enforcement agent, not an alien babysitter. Know what I'm saying? Yo? <laughs> Running, running, get ready, gonna fall, gonna fall, gonna fall. She fell. They always fall. Shh. You could put out someone's eye with that thing, you know. Sorry. <laughs> what a rip. Focus, focus. What do you mean the power's out? That's impossible. We've got five backup systems. Jack-o'-lantern did it. He always mutilates his victims in the dark. <laughs> Everyone, calm down. I assure you, there is no such thing as Jack-o'-lantern. He's a figment of Earth's imagination, a make-believe goblin with a pumpkin for a head. <laughs> Pretty good laugh for a make-believe goblin. Hmm. Children, beware. Each Halloween, when the blood moon is full, Jack o' Lantern rises from the netherworld. Really? Well, don't so. Tell us more. Can you top this off? Yo, worms. <gasps> I mean, kids. <laughs> Sorry about the intrusion, ma'am. Beware, kind sir. Jack o' Lantern steals away children on All Hallows' Eve, then sucks out their bones to make their parents grieve. Appreciate the warning. You know you're not supposed to drink coffee before bedtime, children. Now let's go. Okay, just one more step. Ah! Uh oh. Not done yet. I didn't get any coffee. Uh oh. <laughs> Beware. Beware. Coffee drinking worms from outer space is one thing, but bone sucking pumpkins? Granny's bugging big time. Yeah, why's a pumpkin want bones anyway? <laughs> what, 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 what? We don't believe in that shadow over there. The one with the pumpkin head. Do we? Just a kid in a... Costume? Big kid. Realistic costume. <laughs> hey! <Jack> lantern <laughs> He only sucks out kids' bones! Who does her kids? It might be freeze! <laughs> oh, boy. Right, these incredibly lifelike get-ups are the latest in Halloween attire. Hey! He's overpriced. You're bargain shoppers. Jeebs, you know selling human suits to humans is... Redundant? Illegal. Oh, you're such a Grinch, Kay. Why don't you lay off the small businessman and harass some big fish? Throw me a bone, I might oblige. 
Well, there was a landing in Hackensack tonight. Pumpkin patch, if you can believe it. I'm game if you are, sir. <coughs> this better not be a trick. You lost a worm? Well, find him! Might need some backup for this one, Chief. Perp's a big dude. Put a dent in me. It was Jack-o'-lantern. He thought we were cute. It's his M.O. He sucks eggs, you know. Bones. Bones. What is it with you people and Jack-o'-lantern? I don't have time for campfire tales. I don't care what night of the year it is. Begging your pardon, sir, but I thought you might want to know. Not now, son. Who napped the worm, Junior? But, sir... I said not now. Didn't get a good look at him, Chief. He had a big head. Big like a pumpkin. I get it. This is a trick. Well, stay off the line. I expect this nonsense from the worms, not from my agents. But... Ah! Uh, uh. This is Jack's doing. His dark powers are greatest on Halloween night. Troy, I'm with Zed on this one. We can't attribute this gravitational anomaly to Jack O'Lantern. Thank you! These are definitely symptoms of a haunting. What did Zed say? Is there something back up? What are we gonna do? Jack's gonna suck out Jay's bones. Nobody's sucking out my bones. Not you, Jay. Worm Jay. He's always getting into scrapes. He's the rookie. Now we're dealing with the supernatural. Very scary. Which means we can't rely on our usual methods. The a spell. spell. Why didn't I think of that? The old crone told us about a spell that'll send Mr. O'Lantern back to the pumpkin patch. Wishing he'd never been hatched. We'll need a big brown onion. You sure it wasn't a red onion? And the fat of a hog. That would be lard. This is a spell or a recipe? And a bell. Sure it wasn't a bell pepper? <laughs> How do you explain this thing? Renegade electromagnetic field defective alien technology. There's a hundred scientific explanations. The paranormal is a scientific explanation. I'm telling you, it's Jackie O. I've seen the flicks. Out with the lights, then out with our bones. So why aren't you scared? Don't have bones. See? Simple power outage. Never seen electrical current do that before. Jack's taking Bob to the other side. It's like that Twilight Zone. Jack's boneless victims are back from the beyond. They've become his minions. That's ridiculous. Those are just human suits. Empty human suits that happen to be dancing the Lombada. I'm telling you, it's a poltergeist. Jack-o'-lantern. Poltergeist. Jack-o'-lantern. Poltergeist. Jack-o'-lantern. Poltergeist. <laughs> Shut up. Jack only sucks out the bones of kids, right? When it's big people, Jack likes brains. He's gonna suck out my brain! Ah! I can't leave. This is the best part! I don't know who or what you are. But I've had enough! You whack Jack! You rock! <laughs> Ambassador Penny, I'm sorry. We'll get you another. <laughs> we better not. Wait till Jay hears you shot Ambassador Penny, too! Get off of me! <laughs> I'm here for you, brother. That may not have been Jack, but Bob is still somewhere inside that view screen. The furniture needs to be nailed down and... etc. Well, what do you suggest? Since the MIB manual seems useless at this point, how about a seance? Cool! An alien craft, sir. Specifically, a transport from Barthok. You're good, sir. Their slave traders scour the galaxy for little people to sell as slave labor back home. Well, no leprechauns around here. <laughs> Jack-o'-lantern kidnapped me. 
Look right here, Half Pint. Uh, sir? You run along home now, son, and be sure you tell everyone exactly what happened. They'll never believe me. Darn. Oh, <laughs> that's what makes you, you, sir. You're you. I'm Kay. Kay! What's up? It's a spectrometer. Oh, I was hoping for a crystal ball. That's it. Afterlifers exist on a different plane than the living. This should key in on that dimension's frequency. How you gonna get that thing to work? Power's down. Alkaline. You're not even gonna spin any Eye of New Jazz? Poltergeist? No! Spectrometer searching all available frequencies for our visitor! It always does that. There's our ghost. Maybe it's the ghost of an alien! What? Or maybe it's just an alien. Says it's a rare life form from Napira. He speaks their language. I don't care if it's only a dialect. Find out what it wants. It's lost. Well, if it wants our help getting home, it better return Bob and stop monkeying with our gravity and electricity. Pronto! <laughs> What's going on? Get me out of here! See, first we shove the onion in his mouth. Then we grease him up with hog fat. Then we ring the bell and presto! Jack o' lantern disappears. Uh huh. Help! Help! Here, take this! Not that. That's what I'm talking about. Please help! Step on back, Jack. <laughs> Don't let us back, real heat. Thought you knew that. Oh. oh. Ah! Yeah! Here, stick it in his craw. Do it, Jay. Slick. That may work on a jack o' lantern, but it'll just give a Barthock onion breath. This ain't exactly what it seems. <laughs> Save the reunion, fellas. Jay needs your help. Our help? Field generator. It'll simulate the conditions on the Barthox planet, a place where the vertically challenged, such as yourselves, are faster, stronger, and able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. That's why he's been stealing children for slave labor. Small, strong. Oh, yeah, right, Kay. Right. Can I sell you a bridge? Kay just doesn't want to rump on his suit. Boys, you've got to trust me on this one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sir, could you please desist? Pretty please? Don't hurt me, I'm small! Oh. <gasps> I'm small, and I'm bad to the bone! Oops, I'm sorry. No problem. We do it for the kid. Barthok, an Apirian. No cockamamie ghosts, goblins, or ghoulies in sight. <laughs> ah, 
Uh, whatever. You could have thanked me for the use of my spectrometer. If you'll excuse me, it's midnight, and I don't want to turn into a pumpkin. Forget pumpkin. <laughs> I don't want to turn into a werewolf. <laughs> okay, don't believe me. Let's put a leash on that werepug. Lead the way. 